In the bustling heart of Accra, the capital city of Ghana, stands a structure that marks a significant turning point in West Africa's sustainable development narrative. This isn't just any building. It is a testament to innovation, collaboration, and the future of energy conservation. A nearly zero energy building, the first of its kind in the region, commissioned by the Energy Commission of Ghana. With its classic and aesthetically pleasing design, this new edifice is more than a mere headquarters. It represents a bold leap into a future where buildings are not just consumers of energy, but producers of it as well. The story of this landmark building begins with a shared vision between Ghana and Germany. This ambitious project, fully funded by the German government at an impressive cost of 1 million euro, was set into motion approximately eight months ago. The German government's commitment highlights not only a gesture of international cooperation, but also a profound belief in the potential of Africa's efforts to combat climate change and advance renewable energy practices. Uh, the result of this partnership is now an iconic building that epitomizes sustainability at its core. Quick reminder for those who haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so to stay updated on such insightful content and help us reach our goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Your support means a lot. Built using predominantly local materials, the nearly zero energy building is a shining example of how advanced technology can can harmonize with local craftsmanship. Except for the air conditioners and lighting fixtures, every other component of the construction showcases Ghana's capacity for quality and environmentally conscious development. This approach was strategic, emphasizing not only cost efficiency and sustainability, but also an embrace of local industry and skill. But what makes this building truly exceptional is its energy production capabilities. The structure powered by solar energy is designed to generate as much energy as it consumes, aligning with global principles of energy efficiency and conservation. Currently, it utilizes 88% of the energy it produces, a remarkable feat that positions the building as a leading example of what can be accomplished with foresight and advanced planning. The vision doesn't stop there. Plans are already in place to integrate this energy model into the broader electrical grid of Ghana through a net metering policy which, once fully implemented, will allow for any excess energy to be exported. This strategic move could signal a pivotal shift in how energy management is approached in the region. The nearly zero energy building is not an isolated project, but a critical component of Ghana's long-term strategy to achieve net zero emissions by 2070. This ambitious timeline places Ghana among the forward-thinking nations that recognize the urgency of addressing climate change. In constructing this model facility, the Energy Commission has set the stage for housing developers and city planners, offering a tangible example of what can be achieved when sustainability is placed at the forefront of design and construction. At the building's grand commissioning ceremony, the significance of this project was echoed by many distinguished speakers. The Minister of State at the Energy Ministry, Herbert Krapa, represented by Honor Lydia Seram Al Hassan, Minister of Sanitation, delivered a speech that underscored the weight of this achievement. He called the facility a groundbreaking initiative that represents a monumental step forward for Ghana in its pursuit of sustainable, renewable energy solutions. More than just a building, he described it as, as an embodiment of Ghana's commitment to fighting climate change and reducing carbon emissions. His words resonated through the gathering. By generating as much energy as it consumes, this facility exemplifies the core principles of energy efficiency and resource conservation that are energy policy advocates. It serves as a living testament to integrating sustainable practices into every aspect of our development. This perspective was not just rhetoric. The nearly zero energy building is a physical declaration of intent, a structure that stands as a beacon of hope and progress. It sends a clear message to Ghanaians and the world. Sustainability is not just an aspiration. It is an achievable reality, and Ghana is ready to lead by example. The emphasis on innovation does not end with the building's architecture or its energy efficiency. The facility is poised to play a pivotal role as an energy academy and a knowledge hub aimed at nurturing the next generation of energy professionals and pioneers. The Executive Secretary of the Energy Commission, Ngenger Oscar Amanu Nazer, 
uh, spoke passionately about the role this building will play in shaping the future. To him, it embodies the very mission of the commission to promote sustainable energy practices while addressing current needs and preserving resources for future generations. In his words, with this nearly, nearly zero energy building, we aim to reduce our carbon footprint, use renewable resources efficiently, and serve as a beacon of what can be achieved through foresight, planning, and commitment. This building, according to Amanu Nizer, is more than a workplace. It is a symbol of what is possible when vision meets action. He expressed gratitude to all those who contributed to bringing this model facility to life. Architects, engineers, construction workers, and partners like GIZ, who have all played an instrumental role in realizing this ambitious project. From the strategic perspective of Germany, the building also represents an investment in the future. Mr. Tongmore Marmer, cluster coordinator of GIZ, highlighted the broader implications of the project. He stated that while the facility is a stronghold for the Energy Commission, it should also inspire systemic change within Ghana's entire energy and building sectors. His comments were underscored by the fact that the building sector is one of the major contributors to emissions in Ghana, and this nearly zero energy building provides a tangible solution, a way forward that aligns economic growth with environmental responsibility. The German ambassador to Ghana, H.E. Daniel Kruhl, expressed similar sentiments. In his speech, read on his behalf, he reinforced the symbolic and practical importance of the facility, noting that it would serve not only the operational needs of the Energy Commission, but also act as a center for education and workshops focused on sustainable building practices. This dual-purpose design positions the building as a dynamic space where policy, practice, and learning intersect to catalyze meaningful change. As the sun sets on Accra and the lights of this groundbreaking structure illuminate the evening sky, it stands as a beacon, not just in the literal sense, but symbolically as well. It marks a new dawn for energy practices in Ghana and West Africa at large. The nearly zero energy building is more than bricks and solar panels. It is a promise, a promise that with the right investments, partnerships, and unwavering commitment, a future of sustainable energy is within reach. Through this building, Ghana is not just talking about sustainability, it is demonstrating what it means to embrace it wholeheartedly. The Energy Commission's new headquarters now sets the stage for other African nations to consider what can be achieved through similar dedication to eco-conscious development. It challenges industries, governments, and societies to think bigger, plan better, and build smarter. Most importantly, it invites everyone to imagine a future where the relationship between people and the environment is one of mutual benefit and stewardship. This building in all its silent grandeur tells the story of a nation that is determined to lead by example and a continent that is ready to harness its boundless potential to meet the challenges of tomorrow. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.